Hi there, my name is Buya Varoy and I'm the makeup artist for Revlon SA. Today I'm going to show you how to create my favorite summer look that is inspired by the 1960s. The person that is working the look at the moment is Dita Fontes. So it's basically the look, it's very simple. Um, it's a liner and lots of mascara and a bright lip. In order for you to create this look, you need to prep your skin with the Color Stay Foundation from Revlon. Um, and the color of the, the foundation that I use is caramel. For the first step, I'm using the Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara to enhance her lashes. Remember, when, when applying a mascara, do it in front of the mirror, take a step back, and then start doing a zigzag. Also looking down. Looking down helps the lashes to come out so that you can put the mascara in the lashes. Now I'm going to do the most, my most favorite part of the look, which is the liner. When applying the liner, you need to start from the inside of the eye and then take it right to the end of the eye. Depending on the, on the function that you're going to or how dramatic you want the line, you can make it bigger by just following the same line and just go on top, over it. Now I'm going to do the other side of the eye following the same steps that I, was, that I did earlier on. Always look in the mirror and then start from the inside right up, up until the end of the eye, following your eye shape. Yeah. Now I'm going to shape your eyebrows. It's very important that you shape your eyebrows because it completes the entire look. I love using powder when, when shaping your eyebrows because it looks more natural when you use powder than to use a pencil. I'm using Colorstay eyeshadow from Revlon, specifically the brown one. Following the shape of her eyebrow, do the same thing on top of the eyebrow. Now I'm going to reveal my secret in front of everybody <laughs> <laughs> on how to get the perfect eyebrow. I'm, I'm going to use one shade lighter than his skin color just to clean with the foundation under the eyebrow and that's going to help you give you that perfect eyebrow. Now I'm going to do the second last step which is the lip. Depending on how bright you want to go with your, with your look, the lip balms are buildable so you can apply and apply and apply. My last step that I'm doing now is to finish the whole look by using a Revlon Photo Ready Powder. And there you go guys, in five easy steps, that's how you create your 1960s look inspired by Marilyn Monroe. <laughs>